first actual video for the Kodak Turtle channel, man. Uh, we headed to Alabama today. You know, y'all can see I'm probably nervous. This is my first time ever talking on camera, so y'all got to bear with me. But we headed to Alabama, highly my partner, Anthony Reynolds, man. Good dude. Met him on Instagram, man, like two years ago. Um, been doing business with him ever since. And um, gonna pull up on him today. We got an LSA motor on the back, dropping it off for um, ex NFL player uh, Mario Anderson. So we're gonna get into that. I'm gonna show y'all this LSA and I'm gonna show y'all some of these projects that uh, Mr. Reynolds got going and uh, let y'all know what he did to the SS, man, you know. So y'all get ready because we're gonna go live. We made it to Alabama, six and a half hours. That ride sounded like it just took forever. <laughs> like, but man, we here, waiting on Mr. Reynolds to pull up and get this motor off the back of the truck, you know? Check out some of the vehicles he got inside and man, let y'all see what I see today. So, stay tuned. All right here, uh, he a younger dude or whatever and like I said, you know, we just kind of play with any kind of budget, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's like, you ain't just got to go multi-piece or whatever. So what he doing is, he just going with uh, just factory suspension. And then it's like over here, you can see I uh, just found this regular uh, new upper and lower A-arms or whatever. And like I said, these ain't no super high, high dollar uh, upper and lower A-arms, but they nice and they well built. Then, you know, um, I ended up, I found him some springs or whatever. I'm going to rebuild the front end. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up like a pro touring type yeah. for him. Um, so, so what size is going on there? As in wheel? He's going with a 22. And like I said, these are wheels over here. He's going to go with a, with a 22. Oh, yes, sir. U.S. Mag. Yeah, he's going to go with a U.S. Mag. And, and he got like a nice said, size lip. Yeah, and the U.S. Mag. And I'm going to swap the tires out. So I'm going to do a bigger tire on there. So... I'm probably gonna do probably like a 305, 25, 22 on here. Cool. And then the thing is, I'm gonna swap these tires out and put them on the front because they kind of bubble a little but, bit. Yeah, how they kind of fold up. Yeah, they kind of fold up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just swap the tires out and we'll do away with them 265 30s that's on the front. And so what we'll do is we'll just have them, you know, just just kind of have like a stocky look. Yeah, kind of like a, uh, you know, kind of like a meaty look, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah kind of like a hot rod, you know? Yeah. And so, like I said, I'm going to lure it in the front and then, you know, just finish up the front end. And then he still got, like, a couple engine things he want me to go ahead and get situated for him or whatever. But, like I said, you know, shoot, I handle all budgets. You know what I'm saying? I don't just want to just put myself in a block where it's like I'm just dealing with just, okay, I don't deal with them, but. High dollar stuff. High dollar yeah. stuff like that or whatever. Then, like I said, you know, you know this car right here. Oh, B Maze Buick. You know who this is. All right, this one right here. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shorten the rear end. Uh, I did all the measurements on it. We're gonna shorten it uh, one and a quarter. And so one and a quarter gonna be able to make them 28s tough. He got like some real meat up under the tires. So the tires are real thick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm still gonna be able to tuck the tires. So that's where he won't be able, won't have to worry about bending wheels and stuff like that. That's why it's so much tie on there. Yeah, I don't think you, you know want to I mean? tear them lips up. I don't want to hear him cry. Yeah, exactly. So so you can see how much tie he got on there. So it's a lot of tie, you know, just for them 28s or whatever. So um, we'll cut it. After I cut it, uh, the front end, he got one of them uh, old school uh, mega lips on there. <laughs> so like, if you look up under here, he got the A-arm spacer. That a um spacer right here, yeah. he got it on here. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna just buy a uh, regular factory a arms, yep. upper and lower a arms, and then like I said, I could play with the core springs and get the ride height that he want. We're gonna try and find some new fender trim for him, and then we're gonna brace up this part right here and try and keep it from flopping back and forth. And so we're gonna have him sitting pretty tight. You know, I think B seen you know, right there on my car. And I, I, you know, I noticed where you got that idea, B. Yeah. You know, so you know what I'm saying. Hey, he gonna get you right because he did it on my car. All that yeah, flapping. So we're gonna try and get 
find him some molding so that we can mold all the molding back there. He had some old cuts because did he have what he had some thirties on him or some nah, uh I think he always had tornadoes on it. You know, he okay. just he didn't have about ten sets of wheels on this car. Yeah, because he did have some heavy cuts on him. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and clean up the cuts and then I'm gonna try and find some molding so that I can blend in the molding back around here so it won't look like it's been cut by the time he get it back from me. Over here. He yeah, Ray Charles cutting on it at first. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But like we're gonna, I said, we're gonna clean right. him up. We're gonna clean him up. Get him back right. Yeah. Beautiful saber. Beautiful saber. We can move on. This one right here. This was a quick weekend job. I did a, a big brake kit on it. Um, I moved. I got rid of the, the coilovers on it. It had some of them cheap Chinese coilovers on it. It rolled like a brick. <laughs> Still, when I, when I say it rolled like a brick, it rolled like a brick. So what we did was we just put uh, some factory uh, coil springs on it. Did the big brake kit on it. Did the slotted rotors after the slotted rotors. We did the six piston uh, brake kit on the front of it. He ready to come and pick that one up. Big brakes. Yeah. I like how they got that caliper made like that in the front, you know, mm -hmm. instead of, you know what I'm saying, in the back. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So he had that one um, that one done. It wasn't a bad job. Like I said, you had to just get up in here and you had to take all, bag all this top down and yeah, pull it out. Yeah, because that's how the struts and everything come out of there. Like 300 said, Z. It wasn't a bad job to go ahead and knock on out. So like he's stopping and uh, he ready to come pick that one up. Alright, uh this one right here. This one 74 dump. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. And it's clean. When I say clean to the bone, it's clean. I'm talking about clean. It's like really and truly. I wish I could let it down for you. Yeah. So you can really, really see how clean this car is. Uh the car was done, matter of fact, probably about three or four blocks up the road from here. And the person that did it wanted it back stock so when i say it's back stock it's down to the spare tire in the trunk and you know how they put the speckle of undercoat on the inside yeah. of the trunk yeah that's how how clean and detailed it's done it's got the factory 350 in there you can look at that and see the orange engine on it but the thing is the guy changed the direction in which he wanted to go yeah so then it was like he started seeing everybody build dunks he wanted at first he wanted a factory dunk <laughs> but then it's like now he want to order wheels and he want to put a stance on it. And so it's like right now we rocking with Carly on Fords right now. So uh, we're trying to figure out a set of wheels. But honestly, he, I hate to say it, he gave us a blank checkbook and told us. I can do what you need to do. And call me when it's finished. And so, make it so bad. You know, 74 is supposed to be the ugly duckling. Yeah. Other donks, you know what I'm saying? But I have seen some clean 74s lately. Like some clean ones. And this is, this is. This is really a clean car, like it's clean. Yeah, done right, and it's clean. To me, clean is an understatement. Like, take a look at look at all the boats. All them boats been replaced. Oh see, yeah. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? All those boats are new. All those boats are new. And then I know everybody talk about stainless steel, and he replaced it with stainless steel. But these are replaced with the factory uh, boats or whatever. And you can look at them and tell you. You can see the iodine, uh, iodized uh, look on it or whatever. Oh, yeah. So all of this is factory. Uh, we might come back and I'm going to pull that one out and I'll let you take a real good look at it. Cool, cool. It's sweet. So like I said, they took their time and put it back together. Clean hard top, too. Yeah. Alright, uh this one right here. Uh it came in uh running bad. This guy brought the car from a guy. Evidently the guy couldn't get the car to run right. So uh we got a lot of different things going on with it. Um we just doing just a all over the basic stuff to get it to run right. So we do it the um uh, the Octus Fonte ignition on it. Uh we did the Throttle body sensor is for us the uh the uh idle sensor on it. We did uh mass airflow, so basically we did oxygen sensors. So basically we just kind of just did maintenance to freshen it up so when he hit the switch, it worked. The reason that the door is popped, when he bought it, he couldn't get the door open, the lock on it was locked. <laughs> so he couldn't get the door open. So 
we ended up getting a new lock for it, so we getting ready to put a new lock on this bad boy and uh, get it to opening and closing. Got our detail guy coming up, and so he gonna detail the car, and he gonna be ready to pick it up, uh, hopefully this weekend. It make it so bad, I'm noticing this car got BF Goodrich's on it. Mm -hmm, exactly, so it's, it's kinda like, yeah. and, you know, BF Goodrich is, is, you know. Yeah, like. Big deal. I, yeah, like, I don't know if that's the original one, but it probably is from the looks of it. Mm -hmm. But if it is, yeah, he. He yeah. found him some original. He, yeah, and exactly. That's like everything on this car I noticed was original itself for the exhaust and the headers. So, and the cold air induction. Those are the only three things that I noticed that was different on this car. But otherwise, it's, it's like totally factory or whatever. So. You know, a problem I had out of a few of them like I didn't have. Mm -hmm. And it'd be something that people overlook. Um, um, fuel pressure regulator on the back of the intake. Exactly. And you no, know, like I guess that little spring collapse in them, and uh, you know what I'm saying. I guess like I had one that like it wouldn't stay started, uh, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And it was fuel pressure regulator, but then I had one that Optus spark, and man, it gave me hell. You know what I'm saying, like. But I mean, you know, LT ones, you gotta, yeah. you gotta love them to hate them. You know what I'm saying, exactly. but yeah. But once you figure them out, Mal yeah, it, it's yeah. like it's the same problem over and over. It's like the biggest problem out of these LT1s is the Optus box. And then the thing is, people buying Optus box from like AutoZone or whatever, yeah. they the, uh, them China built ones. Yeah. You can put a brand new Optus Spark on. Once you put that brand new Optus Spark on, it could be bad. And you could go and buy another one and, and put be it on and get another bad one. So the thing is, you need to buy a name brand optic spark if you can look up and get a Del AC Delco okay you on point but then you know you could go XL or something like that but like I said it's best to get like a um uh, a name brand optic spark to go and do what you gotta do. Yeah so y'all listen no, do not go get them Chinese optic sparks. Okay now I gotta give my homeboy a shout out because like I said this shop it don't run without him. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. it's gonna be uh my homeboy Chris. Chris. And Chris CMC Customs. CMC Customs. CMC Chris. CMC Customs. Chris. He wasn't able to make it today. Yeah. But yeah. the thing is, I'm holding it down for him. For sure. So for that's sure. like some of these projects that come through here. It's just not necessarily my projects. Is it, it go back and forth? So that's like if it come through here, I'm gonna touch it. If it come through here. He, he gonna, gonna touch it, it. yeah, so yeah. That's like so. That's like if you're trying to go between each of us, we talk, so we know, <laughs> we know. So you are gonna get the same price whether you go through me or him. Wherever you you're going, going you gonna pay. You gonna get the same price. <laughs> so, but like I said, this one of his heavy hitters right here. Um, yes, this one right here. Um, this is a full build up. This is the bear brake setup, and if anybody know don't, they know bear brakes. It's the granddaddy of the brake setup. He got the uh, QA1 uh, suspension. So it's the stage two suspension. It's not the stage one. So stage two come with the uh, dual adjustable coilovers. Overs. It come with the sway bar. It's, it's the Mac daddy of what you need to get. Yeah, so that's yeah. like if you got bread, you need to step it up to stage two. So, you know, that's it. But like I said, we can... Uh, Really and truly, I show sure when mine opening it up. You know what? I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna show y'all one or two of the uh, pieces of this uh, bear brake setup and yeah. show you the quality. That's like I'm not knocking wildwood. I'm not knocking wildwood at all. Yeah, yeah. But it's kind of like it's levels to it, and I didn't know it. <laughs> That's like we're looking at this master cylinder. We're gonna open it up. Let's look at this master cylinder. And you could just you could you could see quality, you know. That's like yeah, it's like it's that's like buying a Toyota. Then you go back and you look at a Lexus. This is quality. This is quality, man. Look at look at this. That's quality, man. And honestly, really and truly, as far as Will Wood, I really didn't think that it got better, but it is better. It's better out there. I just didn't know it. And like I said, you know, I ain't the type to try and act like I'd have seen it all and knew it all because every day I learn something, you know. I learn something from everybody. Just like I said, I call Turtle and he'll tell me something. And I'm like, I'm like, really? <laughs> 
And you know, and really and truly is something new with this car store. Every, every day. day. Every day. So from when I first started to now, it's like the levels are jumping so fast. Yeah, yeah, like when I say the levels are jumping. I ain't gonna lie, and it's so hard to keep up because I don't know if it's getting more expensive or it's just getting, you know what I'm saying, technology taking over. But, you know, I said on my 75, you know, I ain't knocking wheel wood, but uh, I got to go bare. Yeah. I got to go bare. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like this right here. Now, like I said, this guy, this guy ain't playing. This is the whole rear end. So this is the Moser 9 inch rear end, Ford rear end. So it's already got the mounts and everything mounted on it. It's already shortened. It's everything. Axles already in and everything? They sent the axles. Check these axles out. I ain't never seen no axles this damn thick in my life. Hold on. <laughs> I'm just being real with you. Ooh. Come on now. Man, come on. Really? Yeah, that's that's I'm why they say you don't break them. You, you're not going to break this. You break this, you're running some serious power. And then, see, the thing is, the, the way that it's uh, clamped in, it doesn't have a C-clamp set up. C-clamps on it, yeah. It has the regular uh, locking set up on it. Bearings are pressed in, and then it's got a seal bearing on it. Then it's got the extended hardened studs on it. Real deal. That's my next go-to. Like I said, I didn't know. Like I said, I, you know, and I'm one of the ones that... I didn't know, you know? Yeah. And so, uh, back to the bow brakes. Bow brakes. Let me show you how these brakes come. Now, you know, with the, with the wheel wood, you have to assemble it. Bow brakes. Bow brakes. This is the rear. That's the rear setup on it. These are the rear calibers on it. I'm talking about huge rear calibers. Pretty red. Pretty red caliber. Like I said, the unboxing on it is real. And like I said before, you know, Turtle, you my VIP. Appreciate like it, said, appreciate you my it. my VIP, dude. And then my homeboy Chris, he got some VIPs in too. So it's kind of like, that's like the reason we here today, we putting two of our VIPs together. And we made it work. We made it happen. We're making it happen. We're putting two VIPs together. And like I said, you know. All right. Real deal, how Bell send they stuff. Already complete. Bell sending they stuff. Already complete. And they already got a spender on it and everything. That's what I'm talking about. The bear is not playing with y'all. That's what you're paying for. This is what y'all paying for. So, you know, you start complaining about, oh, it's too much or whatever. This is what you're paying for. Granddaddy stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it's already assembled. You ain't got to call no third party and ask them to build you a bracket. After I get the bracket built, then I got to get it all together. Then I got to figure out how to put this three-piece rotor together. Make sure, what's the torque specification? I don't know. Okay, we got a five torque specification <laughs> for this three-piece rotor. Bass said, you know what? Forget it. We finna give you everything. You bolt it up. You bleed it. You got brakes. That's what you paying for. So that's what you paying for. That's what you paying for. You paying for it, man. I'm going bare. I ain't going to lie to you. Yeah. I, I, I already got it in my head, you know. Yeah. And I think I'm going to do a six piston all the way around. I'm going to do yeah. something a little extra. Yeah, six piston, big big brakes. And really, truly, like I said, Bell is, I'm impressed. Yeah. You know, because at first I was like, Bell, Will Wood, Bell, it don't really matter. But once I finally saw a for real Bell, Bell piece, yeah. it's real deal, man. It's real deal. Um, like I said, this is one of the, the big don'ts. And like I said, I got to give a shout out to the top five boys. Them top five boys made everybody step their game up. Everybody. So, so what it did was, it stepped my money up. <laughs> it's like, you wouldn't believe how many frame off guys I got that's calling and talking about they want frame off. But people don't realize how much frame off costs. For real. 
So real. really and truly, this shop so small, yeah. and we do in and out stuff. Yeah, I really, we really wouldn't be able to do a lot of frame off stuff. I'm just being real with you, cause I kind of like to get stuff in and, and out. out. Yeah, and it's like really and truly, if you come back next week. Everything that's in here gonna be gone, and it's gonna be something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In and out, in, in and, out, and out, in and out. And then I don't believe in leaving nothing outside. Yeah, I seen that when I pulled up. It almost like it was, uh, you know, what I'm saying deserted. Yeah, and my thing is, I wanted to look like when you pull up, you don't know what's going on no. on the inside. Yeah. So yeah. that's like when I get to a point where it start being like, okay, I got five stuff on the outside. I got all this going. It's time to go to another building. Okay. Yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's like this is plenty for what we got going on. Uh, like I said, this is a, uh, this dump project, body, just came out of body work. Uh, all these parts right here are for this dump right here. Yeah, I see they yeah. on their top five shit. Yeah, so all these parts are for this dump. And so, that's what we got going on right here. Oh, uh, and like I said, you know, you know, the way we run this shop, like I said, Everybody bring in something. So, like I said, this is one of uh, Chris customers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, you know, I want to rep that. So, it's kind of like, you know, they just sat it in there. So, this just staged up trying to figure out what's going on. And, you know, why, of course, they're going to change the pulley set up and everything else on it. Yeah, that's an LS3, though. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> so, like I said, right now, they, they come along with this. But, like I said, it just came from uh, the body shop. So, they did all the... Uh, if you take a look, look at the floorboards. You got brand new floorboards all the way through. Brand new trunk panels. It's done right. It's being done right. It's not done. To, it might not be done to a point of, oh, it's frame off, whatever. But when I say it's still going to be a for real, for real nice car. It's going to be nice. Real, nice car. Ain't nothing to play with. What year is this? What, like a... This right here, to be honest with you, I really don't know. Ain't no front cap on it, ain't no yeah, rick. Ain't no front, yeah. No bag. It look like it might be a 75. Look like it might be. It look like it might be a 75. I ain't really sure because really and truly, they just drove this one in here yesterday. It's sweet though. Yeah, yeah. This is the first time I laid eyes on this one. I was at work when uh when they drove this one in. So like I said, man, uh this one right here. So right now, this one in the air now because we got the transmission for it. And wish I could find it, but it's uh the TCI transmission. You bought a good one then? Yeah, I'm talking about brand new in the box. You bought a good one then? Yeah, so it's a TCI transmission. Trying to figure out what. No, there it is, right there. TCI right here. Yeah, so we're going to put a uh, brand new TCI transmission in it. Uh, only on forge wheels. And the top, we're going to take the top off and we're going to put a. Uh, a dark blue rag on it. So once we get the transmission in, it leaves and it going to the upholstery shop to go ahead and get the dark blue rag put it, on. It's actually gonna look better with that blue rag instead of that white. Yeah. I'm just not a fan of like, I hate like yeah, white yeah. interior and I hate like white tops, but you know, you find a lot of clean dunks mm -hmm. that have white interior in them and that's just, you know, hey, I'm gonna take one like yeah. it is. I ain't gonna argue with it, but. Yeah. And, and the thing is, you know, that was, the color back then. Back, back then, back yeah, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like I see a lot of red ones, white interior, you know, white top. I see a lot of white ones, you know, white top, mm -hmm. you know, white interior. I see black, white top, white interior. Yeah. Oh, your head package, that thing go good. Yeah, There's a new TCI transmission. It's going in that dump. Yes, yeah, so like I said, you know, we're a little bit of shop, but you know what I'm saying? We got a little bit going on, you know? Now, y'all got a lot going on. Yeah. Got, <laughs> got a lot going on. We got a little bit going on. And like I said, I, I like it because we got the walk up, and you walk in, you really wouldn't know what's all going on. Yeah. And like I said, we ain't the type to just, and we always talk about it, it's kind of like, man, we won't put ourselves out there too much. But you don't know how, we really don't want all that publicity. Listen, yeah, yeah. There's only two of us, and so it's like. You don't want to take on too much and have just sh sh laying around and everywhere. Yeah. And then it becomes stressful and yeah, just, you know. quality stuff going on. Oh, yeah, this one right here, this rim, couldn't 
So it don't seem like it's a lot, but now you see, now once you dig in, it's like, yeah, it y'all do got it. Oh, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. But, like, I'm going to tell y'all something I noticed, man. Uh-huh. The shop is clean. Oh, yeah. It's, it's clean, clean, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that play a big role, you know yeah. what I'm saying, when you take your car somewhere. Yeah. Clean shop. Yeah, you can, you can find it. Okay, this guy right here, honestly, this guy's a do-it-yourselfer. And it's like, um, he already did the LS, it's on the cutlass. He's doing the 7.5. And uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, he got a set of those uh, M, uh, MTW bended wheels, 7 inch lift. So it's a 10, uh, 7 on the outer, 3 on the inner. Yeah. And so he's doing it on the cutlass. So what I'm doing is, I'm going to shorten the rear end for him. And we was debating on which way we wanted to cut it. Yeah. It's like everybody, that's like I went to that Rick Ross show. Yeah. Everybody got a different way on how they cutting rear ends and moving rear ends or whatever. And I'm not saying one way is it's better right, yeah. than the other way. And then it's like I noticed there's a lot of people that kind of shit on, okay, if you ain't doing it how I'm doing it, it's the wrong way. Yeah. But my thing is, it's like it's working. So I've seen so many different ways of doing it. So... Like I said, on this one right here, we're going to cut the mounts off. And after we cut the mounts off, we're going to uh, cut, uh, I think it's two and a quarter that we're cutting off for this one. Don't hold me to it. I can't really remember. But we're going to cut it, pull it in, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the mounts in. And I'm going to re-weld these factory mounts on. And after I re-weld the factory mounts on, then we're going to use the dual adjustable lower control arms and upper control arms. So that way we'll be able to uh, tie it back in. The main thing is, as long as we have these two dog ears lining up, and if they line up at a triangle, that's going to center the rear end. So as long as that rear end is centered, we can kind of play with this. So some people say, well, you're not supposed to pull these in or pull these out. But the main thing is, this right here is centering it. Yeah. kind of did a little research on it to make sure that it was right. So like I said, we'll end up pulling these in, cutting these mounts off. And we're going to do coilovers. And then, like I said, we're going to use these brackets right here for the coilovers. And then, like I said, these are going to end up mounting towards the back on these coilovers. Uh, we were debating on whether we were going to use these right here. Um, but in my opinion, I think it's going to be best to use, you know, use the factory mounts. And like I said, it ain't like he's putting a lot of power to, to it. it yeah. I can see if he was putting a whole lot of power to it. He just won't sell me his lip. LS motor, look good. He want to touch on it every now and then, that red light or whatever. Yeah. He ain't going down the drag strip. Yeah, yeah. And I understand about the people that's going down the drag strip. They want to all this. Yeah, they want the big four. They want the big four at nine inch. They want you know, the big four at nine yeah, inch, yeah. Whatever, whatever. And I noticed that there's a lot of people getting the big four at nine inch and getting all this other stuff, but really and truly, they don't need it. You don't need it. You touching it up on the red light, from red light to red light. Yeah. You might get in front of your buddies. You might heat it up once or twice. Twice, yeah. But then you got $30,000 in the rear end. Yeah, yeah. So I, I just, I, to me, it just don't match. This guy, like I said, he uh ain't going for the big brake setup. He got this, I think this, I think he got this out for like a Ford S, I mean like a Chevy S10, the real brake setup or whatever. So, like I said, he he a working guy, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. he a working guy and he want a, a pretty car. So he doing what he can do. Just like um, he said in the beginning, build for all budgets. Build for all budgets. So like I said, we got the axles in, uh Moser axle. He wanted a pretty <laughs> he wanted a pretty inspection plate. So like I said, he bought the pretty inspection plate. Uh, this carrier, like I said, the carrier is supposed to be a pretty good carrier. I'm not really familiar with it. And honestly, he got it from somebody. So he got it from a buddy here. So we're going to put it together. We see how this works out. Uh, but I, it looks like it's a pretty good carrier. Man, well, I tell y'all what. Mm -hmm. Y'all need the suspension work. You need the motor work. You got to get to Alabama. You know, you, you got to get in line. Now, I ain't going to say you're going to get in. But you got to at least try to get in line. I'm, I'm probably one of the first of my people, you know, a group. You know, this to come down here, man, and, and the experience was amazing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just as in communication, pictures, videos, um, you know, a lot of y'all know I got the 96 Impala LSX. And, you know, he he redone the rear end in it. He's He set the wheels the way they're supposed to be. And honestly, I would have never seen my car complete the front cap on it, you know, unless he did it. You know what I'm saying? 
He just did my brother, um, 88 Chevy Caprice. Um, it's LS swap. You know what I'm saying? 28 inch Sandman wheels with saying, you know, SD forge, whichever one y'all want to use. Uh, rear shorten, um, wheel wood disc brakes, six pistons. And, you know, then now we got B. So, you know, that's three of us. And I think, I think we got Rashad coming with the colors. Okay. Yeah, okay. you know what I'm saying, but to him, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. I think we got Rashad coming hey, with the colors. So wait, I hate to cut y'all. Yeah. I got another tree. I just thought about it. We got a little shop, but we got a lot going on, man. <laughs> I just thought about it. We got a lot of new business stuff going on. Now, listen to this: yeah. Instagram world, Facebook world, YouTube world. We do not keep whole sets of wheels here. Yeah. Hey, it's never a complete set here. You will never get a complete <laughs> set. But hold on one second. I'm going to bring you out some. And like I said, it might not be much to some people, but, but it's much to us. You know, there's one thing about it. You can't judge nobody where they're at in the car world. You know what I'm saying? We all got to start from somewhere. So, you know, this is really my first actual video. And I appreciate them for letting me, you know what I'm saying, take a tour around the shop and them showing me around. We got a customer on the way. Yes, sir. And they are really on the way because yeah. we know what they cost. Yeah, like I said, and honestly, we hadn't met them. They, they sent them to us. Look, I would try and spin them, but you can't. You can't. Come on now. <laughs> Big floating cap. cap, you know. Big floating cap. Big floating cap. Big so. floating cap. Y'all know what they cap. cost, so you know what I'm saying. Oh, oh, y'all want to talk about? Oh, wait, come on, <laughs> come on. All right, check this out. Now this is a customer. If you remember, we had a customer. I talked to you a while back. Yeah. They had a donk. Yeah. Sold a donk, bought another donk. This is all the parts to build his donk. And so we waiting on. He waiting in line to get in. To, to get in till we get through with this one. Then after we get through with this one, that one. So hopefully, week after next, we'll be able to get him in. Yeah, listen, yeah, I gotta have patience with this car work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You especially, the car game. especially if you want the best. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't rush it. You can't just go to any shop. You know, because I promise you, in the end, you'll be crying about it. But I got another treat for you, and this is the grand finale of the treat. And like I said, I might not be big to some people. But it's big to us. We just old country boy from Alabama, so you know it it's a big deal. You know what I'm saying? They Alabama and we Arkansas, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So, so hey, yeah, we can we can relate. Yeah, so like I said, we ain't Florida, we ain't all this yeah. time, but the thing is we do what we can do. We, we hey, we may not be top five, but you're gonna notice us. You're gonna know us. You're gonna know us. <laughs> you ain't gonna ignore us. So as you can see, I'm having to move stuff out the way. Yeah, somebody got a whole build over here. Like this is his whole build, this ties and everything. But come on in, y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Y'all ain't ready. I don't think we're ready. It's, it's a big deal for us. It might not be a big deal for YouTube world and all that, but fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you know, them yeah. the OGs. Now, you see, that's a big deal for us. Yeah, you know, them the OGs. That's them a big OGs. deal. That's a big deal. And like I said, man, I hate my boy Chris is not here because he's a better talker than me. And he can talk this up a whole lot better than me. And he talk a lot more shit than me. Really and truly, I'm out of my element because I don't talk. I'm me either. Me either. I'm, this is this I'm, something new. Yeah, I'm the one that walked by and I throw the peace sign and walk by. But, uh, He's the talker. And like I said, I just sit back and do the work. But uh, well, y'all got a hell of a team, though. So this is like what we got going on. And like I said, honestly, this the roof from when me and you first started talking. Hey, I've been bothering this man, y'all. I know two years. I know two years because, uh, man, like my car wasn't even complete. Nowhere near complete. I don't even think it was running. And, uh, man, I seen him on the freeway. Got a clean 96. You know what I'm saying? That mint green color, the one that you, everybody want. The ones that's, you know, the price is out the roof. And it's clean. And I seen them on the freeway. And I seen them in action. And that let me knew right there. That's what I was bringing my car to. So, man, like, hey, appreciate y'all for taking the time out. Look at this video. We working, you know. 
Hey, Alabama, Arkansas, Arkansas to Alabama. That's what we're doing. Um, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Anthony uh, Instagram name in the comments. I'm gonna put Chris Instagram name in the comments. And uh, man, we're gonna go from there. We signing hey, out. Don't forget to hit button man Dude. i always wanted to say that don't, don't forget, forget to, to hit the subscribe, subscribe button because it's more this coming yeah it's more, more this coming. coming more coming i always wanted to say that <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs>